Uh, in this video, we will be dealing with DTFT. Uh, it stands for Discrete Time Fourier Transform. Now, this Fourier transform is applicable for a discrete signal, discrete signal as well as non periodic. So, this is a fundamental thing which you should be knowing. And about discrete and being non periodic, and the, its Fourier transform is DTFT, I have explained it in. Uh, different types of Fourier, uh, frequency representation of continuous time or discrete time signals. So, if you want, you can look back into the videos which I have al already posted. So, if a signal is discrete, so when you say that it is discrete, it is x of n in contrast with x of t in continuous time domain. So, x of n is discrete and it is non periodic, the transformation available is DTFT. Now, if you have x of n, we know that it is discrete, the integration in CTFT will be replaced by summation in DTFT. That is a basic change. So, x of e power j omega, that is the DTFT of x of n. So, x of n forms DTFT pair with x of e power j omega. Whereas in CTFT we had x of t forming Fourier transform pair with x of j omega. So for continuous time you have continuous time Fourier transform, for discrete time you have discrete time Fourier transform. Now this is the equation to find the DTFT of a discrete time signal x of n which is got by summing up x of n from minus n to minus infinity to infinity and multiplying that with an exponential that is e power minus j omega n this is similar to CTFT wherein you had e power minus j omega t but summation was replaced by integration so this equation as usual forms finding the discrete uh, finding the Fourier transform of a discrete time signal is called analysis equation now once we have got x of e power j omega how do we get x of n back so x of e power j omega we have got so how do you get x of n back that is inverse dtft formula inverse dtft formula which is also called as synthesis equation so it is x of n is equal to 1 by 2 pi integral minus pi to pi x of e power j omega e power j omega n d omega so from this we will come to know that my x of e power j omega is periodic with from minus pi to pi right that means x of e power j omega is periodic with period 2 pi this is the range Min minus pi to pi that is 2 pi so x of e power j omega is periodic with period 2 pi and it is called spectrum of x, x of n it is called spectrum of x of n so it will exist between minus pi to plus pi and it is periodic with period 2 pi. So the these two are the fundamental equations to find DTFT and inverse DTFT of a discrete time signal. So if you are given with a discrete time signal use the summation, sign, uh, summation equation to find DTFT. If you are given with x of e power j omega integrate from integrate over an entire period because it is periodic with 2 pi. Now, why do I say that x of j omega, x of e power j omega is periodic with period 2 pi? What is x of e power j omega equation summation n is equal to minus infinity to infinity x of n e power minus j omega n. Now, I said it is periodic with period 2 pi. 2 pi is a period of x of e power j omega. So, how do I prove that is j into omega plus 2 pi k that means I am multi I am um, shifting my x of e power j omega by a factor 2 pi k which is a multiplier of 2 pi so in the right hand side I will be getting n is equal to minus infinity to infinity x of n e power minus j 
omega is omega plus 2 pi k into n so that will be equal to summation n is equal to minus infinity to infinity x of n it will be e power minus j omega n into e power minus j 2 pi k n now what is this term e power minus j 2 pi k n it is cos 2 pi k n minus j sin 2 pi k n because it is of the form e power j theta where it is equal to cos theta plus j sin theta so e power minus j theta is cos 2 pi k n minus j sin 2 pi k n now we know that sin pi sin 2 pi 3 pi everything will be 0 so sin 2 into pi into k into n will be 0 this function is 0 and this cos 2 pi k n is 1 that is e power minus j 2 pi k n if, if, if you put the values different values of n you will get cos this uh, cos function of 2 pi k n to be equal to 1 so this function will find this will be equal to 1 so what do i get is summation n is equal to minus infinity to infinity x of n e power minus j omega n this is nothing but x of e power j omega so what is my left hand side x of e power j into omega plus 2 pi k so it is of the form if x of n plus n is equal to x of n then the signal is said to be periodic with period n capital N here x of e power j into omega plus 2 pi k is equal to x of e power j omega that means this forms the fundamental period so 2 pi k 2 pi k means what fundamental period is 2 pi but if you put different values of k it is also it will give different values of n for which my signal repeats so 2 pi is the uh, so x of e power j omega is periodic with period 2 pi and one more thing uh, which uh, you should note here is x of n is discrete whereas its spectrum x of e power j omega is continuous from minus pi to plus pi so this is these are the basic points which you should be knowing under dtft